One thing that I know for sure is that education is the great equalizer. Education is a great equalizer and it will allow students to break through barriers. It'll break the poverty cycle. Education will allow students to reach their full potential and accomplish their dreams because education is the great equalizer. But it takes everybody in this room to make that happen. It takes everybody in this room to ensure that students have the platform, the guidance, the love, the support, not only academically, but socially and emotionally, because education is the great equalizer. And in order to make that happen, one thing that we need to all take to heart is the fact that it's about teamwork and synergy. So whether you're a classroom teacher or a principal or an assistant principal or an assistant superintendent, whether you're a librarian or a front office clerk, whatever you do on the team, it's about coming together to develop synergy, which is just a fancy word for teamwork. That's key. So on your campuses, we all have to be committed to that. The second is continuous improvement and self-evaluation. What are we gonna do to get better? How are we gonna create better systems? Because after all, we're in a system that educates children, and we already know that education is the great equalizer. The third component is systems and processes. If you're a classroom teacher, what's the system for how students walk into your room? What's the system for how they turn in homework, for how they collect homework? What's the system for when they don't understand a concept? What's their response to intervention? What's the system for when they're gonna be absent? What's the system for when there's a fire drill? There's every component of the organization at the campus level and even at the district. It's about systems and processes. And finally, the fourth component is leadership. Everybody in this room is a leader. So it's about teamwork or synergy, continuous improvement and self-evaluation, systems and processes, and leadership. And I've had that in my mind as we move forward because it's part of our leadership model. But last week, it really hit home. Last week, I attended a vigil for a kid that we lost to drugs. His name was Nick Garcia, and he was one of my students when I was a principal at Catholic. I had him when he was a sixth, seventh, and eighth grader, and he was a beautiful young man, a smart young man, an athlete from a great family with caring parents that were there for him. And it just shows that the dangers of drugs don't discriminate. But what I learned at this vigil came from our athletic coordinator and head football coach, Coach Kevin Brewer. Coach Brewer, where are you, sir? Please stand and be recognized. Let's give Coach Brewer a round of applause. There he is. He gave a powerful speech, and in that speech, he talked to his freshman team, he talked to his JV team, he talked to his varsity team, and he talked to hundreds of community members about the dangers of drugs. But what he said that tied to the four points that I made earlier is that he mentioned in his speech, he said, I tell my players in the off season and during the season and all year long about the importance of decision making and that their decisions are gonna have an impact on their future, and every decision they make is gonna have an impact on them as individuals, on their family, on their football family, and on the community. So he emphasized the importance of making decisions. So I said, that's the same thing for us. Everybody in this room has to focus on decision making, and everybody in this room makes key decisions. So when you're designing that lesson, how are you gonna decide how to differentiate? When you're gonna meet with that parent, how are you gonna decide and what decisions are you gonna make to solve the problem? When you don't see eye to eye with a colleague, what decisions are you gonna make about handling that issue? It's about decision making. And Kevin Brewer drove that point home. And he mentioned, every decision that you make impacts more than just you. He said, look around. There was hundreds of people there. So I say the same thing to us. As we move through the school year, think about the decisions that you're gonna make. Look around. There's a lot of people in here that are all having a common goal because we know that education is a great equalizer. There's 3,500 people in here. If we had all of our students, there'd be 24,000 students in here, and we'd say, look around. Every decision we make is important. I learned so much from Coach Brewer's speech that I went on a journey to find out more. So I went 
and I asked Coach Bill Littleton, the head football coach and athletic coordinator for boys at Memorial High School. Coach Littleton, where are you, sir? You're out there. Let's give Coach Littleton a round of applause. There he is over there. I learned so much from Coach Brewer that I went to Coach Littleton and I said, Coach, what's one thing that you tell your student athletes in the off season and during season and all year long? And he said, well, what I tell my student athletes is the importance of doing the little things to get better every single day. And that it's important for them to work hard, whether it's their individual skill or whether it's their team skill, whether it's in the weight room or in the classroom, they gotta do everything that they can to get better and better and better every single day. And he said, on top of that, I tell all of my teams at the beginning of every season, our goal is to be the best team Memorial High School has ever had. So they're working on the little things every day and that goal is to be the best team that Memorial High School has ever had. So I said, well, this team can learn from that too. If you're a principal, what can you do to get better every single day? What are the steps you need to take? What do you need to focus on? What studying do you need to do? If you're an assistant superintendent, what do you need to do? If you're a teacher, what do you need to do? If you're a librarian, if everybody does that extra step to get better every single day, then the whole team benefits. And then the question becomes, what can we do to be the best team that McAllen ISD has ever had? And that means everybody getting better. So I learned so much from Coach Brewer and Coach Littleton that I went on and I talked to Coach Bobby Flores. Coach Bobby Flores, head football coach, athletic coordinator for boys at Rowe High School. Where are you, Coach? There he is. I learned so much from Coach Brewer and Coach Littleton that I went on to ask Coach Flores, Coach Flores, What's one thing that you tell your student athletes every year in the off season throughout the year? And he said, well, what I tell my students, my student athletes is the power of positive thinking and to avoid negativity and to pick each other up when somebody's down. When somebody makes a mistake, it's not ridicule, it's pick them up. When somebody needs a helping hand, you pick them up. That's what they talk about at Warrior Nation, it's picking each other up when they're down and being positive about it. And then he went on to say, and the one word that we adopted at the very beginning of the season was family. So pick each other up, be positive, and we're a family. And I thought, that's brilliant. So with what I've learned from Coach Brewer and Coach Littleton, and then I wrapped that up with what Coach Flores is talking about, and everybody in here has to pick each other up. When I'm down, you pick me up. And when you're down, I'll pick you up. And then we be positive about things because life has enough negativity already. Life's hard enough. Our students are counting on us to pick each other up. Our students are counting on us to be positive. Our students are counting on us because education is a great equalizer. And at the end of the day, we're a family. It doesn't mean that we're perfect because no family is perfect. We know that. But it means that we're gonna lean on one another and that we're not always gonna see eye to eye, but at the end of the day, we're family and we're gonna come together for the betterment of every student in this district. We're gonna focus on being positive, we're gonna pick each other up, and we're gonna be family. So if we go back to what Coach Brewer was talking about at the vigil and saying decision making is key, and Littleton talking about every single day, do what you can do to get better, and let's be the best team we can be. And Coach Flores talking about the fact that we need to pick each other up and be positive and be a family. It all ties back to the four points. Synergy, which is a fancy word for teamwork, continuous improvement and self-evaluation, systems and processes, and leadership. That's what it takes. Oliver Wendell Holmes once said that what lies behind you and what lies before you are tiny matters compared to what lies within you. Tiny matters. I tell some people, I don't care how busy you are, I'm very busy too, and I read a book a day. You say, you read a book a day? Yeah, I read a book every day. How do you do that? Well, last night I read The Adventures of Bubble Guppies, and the <laughs> night after that I read Dr. Seuss. Well, I'll say, I have a four, three, and a two-year-old. 
But I also read the Jungle Book, and in the Jungle Book, I learned the law of the jungle, and I'll share this with you as I close. As I close my portion and I turn, over, turn it over to our students. The law of the jungle. For this is the law of the jungle. As pure and as true as the sky, and the wolf that follows it shall prosper, but the wolf that doesn't must die, metaphorically speaking. And this law runs forward and backward. For the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. We get strength from one another. We're a family. Let's focus on that as we move forward. Let's focus on being a family. Let's focus on making the right decisions. Let's focus on doing what we have to do to get better. Let's focus on picking each other up. I love you guys. Thank you for your attention.